welcome to 2020. Cannot believe that it's 2020 already. Um, I feel like I've said that a million times in the last few videos that I've been filming the last couple days, but wow, 2020 does not seem possible. Um, this is actually Friday, January 3rd when I'm filming this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and it's, I want to warn you going in, it could be long and it could be rambly. Um, I am not super prepared for this. And what I mean by that is I didn't, I don't have anything written down. I just have my phone here. I'm going to go through my Amazon Prime photos to kind of recap 2019 a little bit and remember some of the things that happened. Um, I apologize for this ridiculous bald spot that you're seeing here. It's uh, super cute, isn't it? <laughs> um, still struggling with my hair. Um, I got those little little furries here that you're all sick of hearing about if you've been to my channel before. Um, but the band's keeping them back. I gotta, gotta clip. Everything is back. If you can tell, I did manage to put on a little bit of makeup today, which is going to be part of my what I talk about today. Um, but yeah, and my setup behind me, this is my my new desk here. I'll give you a little tour of that later um, in another video probably. And there is a very bright lamp right behind me. Uh, it's the only way I could manage to get decent light in here right now. Um, we're looking at a couple of things to purchase for the new year to help with that. But so if my head moves and you see that glow back there, <laughs> that's what that is. Um, but anyway, just to kind of jump right in, uh, 2019, you know, I was trying to think of a word to describe it. And honestly, hard works. Um, the last half of 2019, weary works a little bit. Um, and I don't want that to sound like it was a negative year because it wasn't. It was not a negative year entirely. Um, there were negative things that happened in the year, but there were some really wonderful things too. Um, I, but I just, as the year came to a close, hard and weary were two things that really came to mind. And all of this is in relation to the battle to get healthy. Um, it's my battle with morbid obesity, basically. Um, I have a lot of little... I almost want to put air quotes around it when I say health concerns because I haven't been diagnosed um, with anything really. Um, I've been diagnosed with costochondritis, but that's not what's going on with me right now. I don't believe so. Yeah, but I really think that 90% if not more of what's going on with me is related to being morbidly obese. So that will definitely be something I'll be addressing um, in 2020 for sure. Um, Sorry, this bald spot is just really making me crazy. So is that any better? Not really. Bald for 2020. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, a little little sidetrack there. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's I guess that's just kind of the words that come to mind for me um, just right at the outset as I'm trying to think of a way to describe 2020. But I want to go back and look at my photos because I know a lot of things happened in Sorry, I said 2020 before, didn't I? I meant 2019, the way to describe 2019. Um, I want to go back to my Amazon Prime photos and just kind of look through what happened for the year. So bear with me for one second while I scroll down to last January. Um, and if you've never used Prime photos for your photo storage, it's really awesome. If you have an Amazon Prime account, um, where you could stream and you can get the two day shipping and all of that. This is part of that. So I really, I really, really recommend it. It's really nice to have that kind of free um, photo storage. Okay, so I just perused my phone a little bit through my prime photos to kind of give myself a little bit of a idea of what happened in 2019. And I'm not going to go through everything. I did weekly vlogs during a lot of 2019. You can go back and watch any of those if you'd like. Um, but some of the highlights, we took two trips to Walt Disney World. So those were definitely highlights. Um, and there's a ton of videos from those, so I'm not going to link those below, but feel free to check out the channel and um, the, Disney, the videos are all titled Disney, um, whether they're vlogs from when we were there or our trip reports or our hauls or all of those things. So we had an amazing time both trips. Um, April, I think, was definitely the favorite because it was so hot in October, but and we also got to meet up with my sister and her family in April, which was so fun. It was really fun for us to be able to be there at the same time, um, not at the parks but at Disney Springs and it was just super super fun. We got to show them the hotel we were staying at and it was just it was a really a nice time. In addition to Disney World we did a lot of like I wouldn't really call them day trips necessarily but little like shorter ventures out little shopping days and things. We bought a new couch and on that day we actually found a really cute little restaurant um, that we never would have known was there if we hadn't been hungry and couldn't find someplace to eat so um, Google Maps 
brought us to that place. But so that was really fun. And um, we stayed at the Mall of America for the weekend. That was really, really fun. Uh, we just kind of chill at the hotel that's attached to the mall, um, pop out and go shopping a little bit, come back and chill. It was just really, really nice weekend. Um, we really enjoyed that. And yeah, I mean, it, we live a very simple, very quiet life, but we did a lot of very fun things this year. Um, so overall, I mean, a lot of time spent with family and uh, we don't have friends, so I don't, who am I kidding about that? <laughs> we just don't have a lot of friends. Um, we are each other's best friends and our family are really our, our friends. Um, my sister is one of my best friends and apart from my husband, she is my best friend. And yeah, we just, we get along really well with my sister and brother-in-law. So we hang out with them a lot and my three nephews. So we did a lot of that. And uh, we did this summer, we did, so we always go to this campground called Stony Creek. Um, we didn't go there this year. Uh, not everyone was feeling super great and it just, it timing didn't work out well. So we did the weekend at my sister's house. It was so much fun. My mom and dad came down. Wonderful. You know, we just got done celebrating Christmas with family. It just really was a blessed, a very blessed year. Um, so that's why I hesitated at the beginning of this to call it hard and use words like a weary. Um, because for the things that happened in the year, the events, the occasions, those kinds of things. My job has gone very, very well. Jason actually got a new job this year. He no longer works at Menards. He works for another company now and he's absolutely loving it. So those things have been very, very good. It has been a very good year for us those ways. Um, the way that it's been hard and the, the reason I choose the word weary, like I said before, is is health. Um, so one of my biggest goals for 2019, I had sort of hashtagged it best year ever. That that didn't happen. I didn't accomplish, I'm not sure that I accomplished any of my goals in 2019. And I hate that. And for the last quite a while here, I've just felt like an absolute failure because I didn't accomplish any of those goals. And I, I am a failure in a way. Um, how do I say this with a, and so that you understand what I mean? And most of you probably already understand it, but I didn't even really try in a lot of ways. So that is why I am, I, I do consider myself to be a failure on my goals in 2019, but I'm not going to dwell in on it. Um, and I don't believe anybody is a complete failure. You know, we're human beings. We make mistakes and you dust yourself off and you move on and you try to do better. So that's 2019 in a nutshell. A couple trips to Disney World, amazing, fantastic, a lot of time with family, a lot of time just together at home, Jason and I. Just a really, overall a really good year, um, but a lot of downs having to do with my goals. So I kind of went through my goals from 2019. Um, a big one obviously was to lose weight and get healthy. Uh, like I said, I am morbidly obese. I weighed myself on January 1st because that was the day I Kind of started working on that again and I was 322.4 pounds. <sighs> That's not good. That's not good. It is not my highest weight, sad to say, um, but it's very close. It's very close to my highest weight. Um, it's okay. I honestly expected it to be worse um, because really it's just been trash around here, eating and, and no exercise and all of that. Um, so that's a huge, huge focus for me in 2020. So we're moving into 2020 here, <laughs> goals for 2020. Um, yeah, we're gonna work on that. That's gonna be one of my big focuses in 2020. So what I've done to help myself work on that is I've got a MyFitnessPal account set up. I do have an account with Weight Watchers, but I'm tired of paying $20 a month for something that MyFitnessPal can do for free. So nothing against Weight Watchers. If it's working for you, then by all means, use it. Do whatever works for you. I am not endorsing anything here. I'm not suggesting you should do what I do. Do what works for you because all of our bodies are different. We all react differently, you know, mentally, emotionally, all of it um, when it comes to things like overeating um, and trying to be healthy. So, but I am going to use my fitness pal. Um, so I've started tracking that. I'm tracking my calories. I'm not really worrying about you know, sh sugar, carbs, protein, those kind of things specifically right now, although I am being very conscientious about what I'm choosing to eat. So I'm just not, 
you know, my fitness pal tracks those things, but I'm not using that really yet. That will come. Right now I'm tracking calories. Um, I'm trying to move a little bit every day. Uh, I got in about 10 minutes the first two days. This morning I got 14 minutes in. Right now I'm not going to push myself past where I'm comfortable for just a little while here until I get into a good routine. And the reason for that is exercise and food are both really difficult things for me. You don't get to this weight without those being really difficult for you. So, and I don't want to, um, to overwhelm myself to the point where I quit because that's what I do. That's what happens. And I've heard it said many, many times, and you've heard me say this before too, um, you can't out exercise a bad diet. So diet, food, what I'm putting into my body is going to be so much more important right now than the exercise. So yes, I'm going to be, I'm going to continue to try to be active. I'm going to, like I said, walk on my treadmill um, every single day. I'm not taking a day off. Obviously there will be circumstances that will come up where maybe a day gets missed, but I'm just going to hop on and do what I can do or walk outside or whatever. Um, I'm going to shoot for around 5,000 steps every day on my Apple Watch minimum. Be great if I could get more than that. Um, yeah, that's kind of the goal there as far as exercise goes. I will begin a, an actual exercise program, whether it's at a gym or on my treadmill here at home or DVDs or what it is, um, once I feel a little more settled in the food part of what I'm doing. So like I said, my fitness pal, tracking calories, this week has kind of been, you know, we have a lot of food in the house. I don't think wanting to lose weight justifies being wasteful. So we're eating what we have, but obviously in much smaller portions to fit it within my calories. For example, last night we had a frozen pizza. I usually get these Totino's frozen pizzas. They're, they're probably about that big. They're squares. I usually have two of them. Well, I only had one last night because that's all the calories I had budgeted for. So we're doing that. Um, I'm going to write up a meal plan for next week, and then we will go back to what had been our schedule of going grocery shopping on Monday nights. Um, and then meal planning for the week and we'll be eating much healthier. So definitely looking forward to that. More fruits, more vegetables, you know, no junk food. I mean, junk food's just going to have to be a thing of the past for a while for us. Um, we would love to get to a point where we're able to do like little cheat days and treats and things like that, but I don't know if that's in the cards just yet. Um, now all that said, we do go to Disney World in two weeks. So obviously we're going to we're going to enjoy our trip, but I am going to be very conscientious about what I eat when I'm there. Um, I may even track the calories on my fitness pal just to see where we're at, what we're doing, or I might not, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to take away from the fun of the vacation, but I think you can still be careful. You don't have to go completely overboard. So yeah, that's the plan for that. Two weeks, two weeks till Disney World, you guys. Aha! We are not ready. We have not started packing or prepping or anything because the holidays have had all of our attention. But anyway, um, so I think that's that for that part. As far as my health, um, the things that have really been driving home that word weary lately for me are just a multitude of symptoms that I don't know what they are. Um, things like I, I've been feeling a little bit lightheaded. Dizzy is not the right word. I don't even know if lightheaded is the right word. It's just a little... I say woozy a little bit, but <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word either. I'm not, you know, I'm not off balance. I'm not falling down, anything like that. Just a little bit off. I have a very, very strong ringing in my ears. Um, and that comes along with headaches and just aches in my neck. And yeah, so I did have a pretty massive whopper of a cold fever, all of the, those things a few weeks ago. Um, the cough is almost 100% gone. Uh, I took antibiotics for my ear infection, pain in the ears is gone, fever's gone, all of that is gone. Um, you know, my, I've been monitoring my heart rate, my blood pressure, and all of that stuff is normal. So honestly, I think this might just be anxiety. I really think it might be anxiety. Um, this, that's something I definitely suffer from. And can we just all agree in 2020 that we're not going to have this stigma on anxiety. The word anxiety seems to just scare people so badly. Don't call me anxious, but don't say anxiety. It means there's something really wrong with me. Or for some people, it it means that you're ignoring the fact that I have something wrong with me. Um, you know, how do I put that? You can have a disease, a physical ailment, and also have anxiety. 
I know a lot of people sometimes worry that if you call their problems anxiety, you're ignoring the physical symptoms. Um, but I think more often the problem is that people are just ashamed that they're dealing with anxiety. <sighs> enough of that. Enough of that this year. Um, you know, on the one hand, as a Christian, I know that excessive worry is just a waste of time. I, because I believe in God, my faith tells me that he's got this. He's got it all in con under control. Worry is just a waste of time. But I'm a human, so I'm going to suffer with it sometimes. And anxiety can definitely cause or profoundly increase physical symptoms. That's enough of my little PSA there. But I have been treated for anxiety in the past. I have taken, I believe it was Xanax that I took for a very short period of time, a tiny dose for just a handful of days. And it basically changed my life during those few days. Um, and it got me through a period of time where I was having some health symptoms similar to what's going on now. Um, not necessarily the same symptoms, but so yeah, any, all that to say, I need to get to myself to the doctor. Um, I need to renew my two prescriptions for the year anyway. Um, and I have to see my doctor once a year for that. I have a thyroid prescription and a cholesterol prescription. Um, I'm due to go see her in February. So the plan right now is to wait until after the trip is over. Um, but if I'm, if this stuff is making me too crazy that I feel like I'm not going to enjoy my trip, I may try to get in to see her sooner. Um, just to talk about what the physical causes could be for these things. And then um, also if anxiety could be making things worse or could be causing it entirely. You just never know. Um, I'm not overly worried right now. I'm really not. I go through periods of time where I freak out a little bit, but yeah, it's, it's all good. Um, and actually, kind of to go along with that, um, you know, before I go there, let me just also say that my jaw's been bothering me a little bit and my teeth are in such rough shape. Um, I think they're in rough shape anyway. They they hurt all the time. They're shifting a lot. It's just, there's just a lot of stuff going on in there and I don't go to the dentist like I should. Um, I went 10 years without it at one point in my life and actually when I went in, I only had a couple of cavities, so that was fantastic. Had my wisdom teeth out at that time. That was several years ago. I've gone in here and there, um, but I do not go in regularly for my appointments and that needs to change this year. So um, that's another thing I'm gonna do when we get back from Disney is make an appointment for a cleaning and just a full on checkup. So yeah, see if uh, teeth or I don't know, TMJ, who knows what, what might be going on. I'm a little bit of a hot mess um, physical ailment wise at the moment. But again, like I said, anxiety can be playing a huge role here too. But along that frame, moving on, um, the same line here, the word weary for last year came a lot from the last couple of months um, when I was really feeling all of these symptoms, when they really, everything just kind of piled on, it felt like, and work got busy and a little bit stressful and it just, everything just piled on. And um, I really let it get to me. And that's gotten mildly better the first couple days here of 2020 but this morning I really I feel like I've turned a corner so it's really good timing seeing as I'm filming this video today um I was wanting to pick a verse for this year I've picked a verse for every year um no I started picking a verse for the year last year and I would like to keep that up last year's verse was Joshua 1 9 um let me just pull that up really quick so I can read it to you and not uh not miss any of it here. So Joshua 1 9 is be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord will get, your God will be with you wherever you go. Great verse. One of my favorites. Um, so that was 2019's verse and I was trying to decide what I wanted 2020s to be and usually it takes me some time. This morning when I was walking on the treadmill um, getting in my walk I was watching my Kindle watching some YouTube videos and I came across a video from the Fry Life who we follow and I will link their channel in the description below. Um, they're really, really wonderful people. Um, she's dealing with cystic fibrosis and it's just their journey, her and her husband, Peter and Mary. And Mary posted a video, um, and I actually mentioned this in another video I'm gonna post later. I'm probably gonna talk about this all year. So uh, yeah, but um, she posted a video of her and her friend, I believe her friend's name is Amanda and her friend sings a song. And the video was titled, uh, For Those With A Weary Heart, I believe. and that's kind of where the word weary kind of popped into my head for 2019 and wow the the song and the verse that it was um that it sprung from just really spoke to me this morning and between that and then spending time 
reading the Bible and in prayer this morning, it's just, I've just been refreshed this morning. I don't feel physically any better than I have the last few days, but spiritually, emotionally, mentally, uh, my heart feels so good this morning because of that. So um, the verse for this year is going to be, got it on my phone, so let me just get it for you. Zephaniah 317. And it is the Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. And the reason I'm choosing this verse for 2020, partly is just the way it spoke to me this morning. Um, but also I just, this is what I want my heart to be full of this year. Um, God is with me. He's rejoicing over me. He loves me. He's mighty. Um, just all things that I want to be thinking about God all year. So I matter to him. I am important to him. Every single one of us matters to God and is important to God. And if I can remember that every day, if I can start every day remembering that, that's going to change my outlook. It's going to change my life. So that is my verse for this year. Um, so I'm excited to share that with you. Um, and that brings me to one thing that's definitely going to be more a part of my social media and my YouTube channel this year, and that is my faith. I don't think I've hidden it or kept it out before, but it hasn't been in the forefront. It will be in the forefront this year. Um, uh, so, you know, if it's if that's not for you, um, I understand. But I hope you'll stick around. I don't intend to preach or... You know, there'll be no preaching. There'll be no judgment. There'll be none of that. Um, I just want to share how my faith impacts my daily life. Because really, if I'm being honest and open and sharing what my daily life really looks like, what our life here, Jason and I, our family, what our life looks like, faith is part of that. I can't share that with you openly without our faith being a part of that. So yeah, that's going to be a bigger part this year. Um, just being authentic and real is going to be a big part. Um, I think I've talked about this before, uh, but I, we don't monetize our channel. Uh, and I have no plans to, ever. Um, if someday we just become so cool that we have a million subscribers, chuckle, 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 um, I still don't have any intentions of monetizing the channel. If that ever changes, I'll let you guys know. But I don't want ads. I don't want, um, I don't want to be doing this for any reason other than simply because I want to share my life. Um, little glimpses of my life with whoever's interested in watching. Um, along with the reason uh, that along with the purpose of being able to come back and look at this um, someday or you know my nieces and nephews being able to look at it someday or whatever and just you know just memories it's just really a place to store memories and then to share with you guys because I enjoy watching other people's glimpses into their lives so um, let me just reiterate I, what I've said in previous videos I do not judge anybody who does this for a living who has ads who does this for money. I do not judge you at all. I think it's fantastic if you can make a living filming your life or, you know, doing doing YouTube. I think that's amazing if you can do that. And if there weren't so many of you doing that, I wouldn't have so much to watch. So yeah, it's not about that at all. And people who are, who are doing ads and sponsored things and things like that, I mean, you do you is kind of what I want to say here. I, I think that's great. Um, it's just not what my channel is going to be about. Um, I don't want it to become a job for me. I want it to be a hobby. I want it to be just something that's fun. Um, and again, if that changes, that may change someday. If it does, I'll let you know. But so that's kind of the future for YouTube. Um, I'm thinking two videos a week probably is what I'll shoot for. There might be more sometimes or a special video here and there. Um, I'm just really going to do it. I'm not going to do weekly vlogs. Those were getting a little bit tedious and I'm same thing every day. So I'm just going to pick up the camera when I feel like I have something to say or there's something to watch or do or whatever. And I'll just from time to time go in and grab some clips and put together a video. So it's going to be very unstructured. There's not going to be a schedule. Um, they're just going to go up when they go up. So if you are a subscriber and you want to know when a new video goes up, um, you can follow me on Instagram. I always post it there or you can hit the bell button to be notified um, here on YouTube when a new video goes up. Um, I appreciate every one of you who is a subscriber. We have 20 subscribers right now. Um, and I know that's peanuts for most of you, but for me, that's huge. I think that's amazing. So, um, and yeah, I just, I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying filming. I'm enjoying uploading. Um, I'm going to subscribe to a music, um, 
website, I guess. It's called Epidemic Sound. A lot of people have recommended it, so we're going to do that this year, so we'll have some better music. And I'm also going to look into some editing software, um, just to see if there's anything out there that's not too terribly expensive that might help me do a little bit fancier editing with some of our videos. Um, but yeah, that's all, all things that should be happening in the future. Looking into getting a new intro done um, for our channel and maybe a little new outro too. I don't know. We'll see. Gonna play around with it a lot this year. I'm gonna go through, um, actually one of my plans for today is to go through and uh, spruce up all my social media sites and all of that and um, yeah, just kind of get ready for the new year. So that's gonna be exciting. Um, as far as other goals, my number one goal this year, uh, losing weight and getting healthy is high up there, but my number one goal is to grow closer to God. Um, I've been a Christian my whole life since I was, I believe, six or seven years old um, when I accepted Christ. And I grew up in a Christian household and I've never wavered from my faith. And, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not human and I haven't had times when I've gotten a little lax about it, maybe a little lazy, maybe some other things have taken precedence. And so this year, um, I really just want to focus on that. So the biggest part of that for me is going to be getting up in the morning whenever I have to, to be able to have time to very first thing in the morning, um, spend time in God's word, read the Bible, pray, talk with God a little bit. Um, I have a little plan that I'm using right now and I'll film a separate video about that sometime. Um, that is how I'm going to start every single day. It's how I started today and I had an amazing, amazing morning. So um, yeah, that's gonna be first and foremost. Um, and then just throughout the rest of the day, just, you know, kind of guarding, what am I listening to? What am I watching? What am I thinking about? Um, you know, when I'm getting frustrated at work or my temper is getting the best of me, just stop, take a second and stop and say a little prayer and, you know, ask God to help me through it. So yeah. That's going to be a big one. Um, we're going to get more regular with our church attendance. Our church does online services, and that's really, really awesome when we can't get to church. But church is five minutes away, so so we really want to get into the habit of going and just being there with the community of other Christians. Um, so that's definitely going to be huge. And then some of the smaller things, um, just getting into my routines. I talk about this all the time. You're probably so sick of it if you've watched some of my weekly vlogs, but... Um, that's why I got makeup on today, you know, just getting up and putting in a little bit of effort. I am not a beauty guru. I'm never going to be, I'm never going to be super concerned with my appearance, but just, you know, just enough of an effort that I'm actually getting up and participating in life, so to speak. Um, so I definitely want to do that. I want to get my bedtime routine down a little bit better, um, so that I am, you know, reading before bed instead of watching so much TV, a little bit less screen time and sleeping better and, um, I've got a sleep tracker that I'm trying out on my Apple Watch that I will review for you later um, once I decide if I like it or not. And yeah, just just some, some little things. Basically this year, and Jason and I have talked about this together a little bit too, it's just going to be a year of making better choices. Um, little by little. We're not worried about grand goals. I don't have a this many pounds I want to lose by the end of 2020 or, you know, this thing we want to have done, this amount of money we want to have earned. We don't have any gigantic large scale goals. We just want to make better choices. Um, whether that's in what we eat, in how much time we spend watching TV, um, in going to church, in where we spend our money, uh, just all of those things. So that's definitely, definitely up there. And then little things like playing more of our board games. We own a ton of board games and we love having time to play those. So maybe instead of watching TV all day, episode after episode after episode, which we do do sometimes, um, a lot actually, and it's okay sometimes to have a little binge watch, but maybe sometimes we take a break from that and we play some games. Um, we both have a ton of projects we want to work on. Get those all figured out and, you know, start working on those and then just spending more time together, just talking and hanging out. Um, so yeah, less TV is definitely going to be on the list. We have two trips to Walt Disney World planned for this year. I actually have three. Um, we leave in two weeks for, um, for the first one. We are staying at Old Key West. Uh, we rented our points through David's DVC rental and you can find all kinds of information on this stuff if you look on my channel under any of the Disney vlogs. Um, and I think we will be doing a dedicated video about David's DVC here coming up too. 
Um, and then in April, I am going with my sister. It was her 40th birthday in December, so we're going to kind of celebrate that and just have a little sister's trip. Um, we did this shortly before I turned 40 also. Um, we only went to Disney one day. It was just a Florida trip then, but this will be an actual Disney trip. So we're going to go stay at All Star Movies. We're going to go to the, all the parks and um, yeah, it's going to be really fun. And then in November, Jason and I are going back. So this is probably going to be our last year with annual passes for a while. Um, probably. We're not 100% sure yet, but we also booked um, a DVC points rental uh, resort for that November trip. I won't tell you where we're staying yet because we will do a little trip announcement for that later. But um, yeah, so it'll be Christmassy then and that'll be fun. But so those are our trips for the year. I'm sure that we will take some weekend trips as well uh, and some day trips. Another big thing we really want to do this year is just, sorry, I feel like I'm talking really fast. So if it's like blah, 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 I apologize. <laughs> I'm a Minnesotan. We talk fast. Um, no, but another thing we really want to do this year is just get out and explore our like local area, our community here in Minnesota, in the Twin Cities, um, maybe even some of the states surrounding us, but, um, and just take little quickie trips, day trips, weekend trips, things like that, and just kind of take you around and show you what we got to offer around here. So, um, but yeah, so those are just some of the things we really want um, to do in 2020. I'm very optimistic. Um, but bottom line is, I know that whether it's our best year or our worst year or somewhere in between, God's going to be here with us through it all. Um, and as long as we are trusting in him and hanging on to him, we're going to make it through it. So, um, yeah, I just, I'm really excited for 2020. I hope you guys had a really great 2019 and I hope 2020 is good to all of you. Um, I'm sure there are things I wanted to talk about here that I've completely forgotten about. So stay tuned for future videos where we'll go over all of that again. Um, but yeah, I just, um, faith, faith is, is going to play a major role for, for us this year. Um, and just making better choices. We did actually order a couple of bracelets from the Disney store that I'm so excited about. So stay tuned for when those arrive. They're supposed to arrive Monday, I believe. Um, so they'll definitely show up in a video. Um, and they're kind of supposed to remind us of the the making better choices thing uh, throughout the year and what we want for this year. So um, yeah, I would be thrilled if you would comment and let me know any ideas you have, videos you'd like to see, anything like that. Um, I make no promises uh, because, you know, like I said, this is, we want this to be fun and um, enjoyable for us. Um, but I will definitely take anything you put in the comments to heart. Um, constructive criticism and or positive things or ideas negative for the sake of being negative as always will be removed um i just i don't have any time for that so uh did you guys know there was a thumbs down button on videos now speaking of negative um i just noticed that the last couple of days and while i don't really take those things to heart that much so if there's thumbs down on my videos it is what it is but i just was thinking who's doing that who's going on youtube and feeling so such strong dislike for a video that they have to hit a thumbs down button. I've watched plenty of videos on YouTube that I didn't like, that I would never have wanted to watch, but I just, you know, click the unsubscribe button or move on. Don't click like. I don't know. There's just something that rubs me the wrong way about an unlike button. I just think we have enough negative in the world. Can we please just try to be a little bit more positive? Um, so yeah. I mean, I think I've rambled on enough here uh, and it's probably been mostly incoherent. So I apologize for that, <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for some of the things that I know are coming in 2020. And, um, as far as the unknown, well, that's what makes life interesting, isn't it? I hope you have an absolutely amazing 2020. Um, and I hope you'll come along and join us and see what we get up to. Um, and I will come along and see what you guys get up to as well. Um, just an FYI, if you subscribe to my channel, I will subscribe to yours. Um, that's just, that's just what I do. Um, I think it's such a fun way to get to find some interesting new people. And yeah, I think it's, I think it's just a really fun way to do it. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
uh, I guess give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. Uh, feel free to comment below if you'd like. I will try to respond to any comments that I get. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter and I do have a Facebook account but I'm never on there. Um, so I might put that in my description, maybe not. I'm thinking even about putting a Pinterest account in there. Lots of things might change in there this year but uh, yeah you can find my social media there. Um, otherwise, you know, click the subscribe button if you would like to subscribe, the bell button if you'd like to be notified. Um, I also do post an Instagram post every time I put up a video. So um, I do have a blog as well, which is also linked in the description. I'm not super regular about posting on there. Um, but again, I will post on my Instagram when there's a new blog post up. So feel free to check it out if you'd like. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Have an awesome 2020. Stay tuned for uh, all the things that... Uh, We'll be putting up this year and uh, yeah, have an amazing day. We'll see you next time. Bye.